KOR to Sports, we're here with McWilliams Arroyo fighting Carlos Quadras, February 24th, Superfly 2. Tell me, man, last time we saw you in the ring was, by the time of the fight, was almost two years ago. What, what's been going on? Why, why haven't you been active? You know, uh, I've been active training. Uh, they, I was told I was going to fight. And last minute, no, the fight's not going. So you're going to fight a, a couple of months later. And the same thing went on and went on. You know, it was out, it was out of my hands. But I've been training all the time, you know, putting in the hard work in the gym, sparring. So I'm not going to let that uh, in my mind affect me. Your, last time we saw you in the ring was a competitive fight against Chocolotito. Uh, now you get the call, finally sign, sign seal, deliver with, with Carlos Cuadras. I mean, you know, not too many pigs down, man. You keep getting big fights. How, you know, how, how do you feel kind of getting another big fight kind of under your belt after a long layoff? Do you feel that's going to be an issue? No, I'm not going to think of that. I'm always training. I love this sport. So, um... I'm going to take this in a positive way. Uh, they offered me to fight in 115. This is going to be my first fight going up in weight. I believe that's going to help me out a lot. And, um, you know, may the best man win, and, and hopefully the, the crowd is going to be the, the judges, and, and they're going to be the, the ones that are going to enjoy it. When you saw his last fight against uh, Gaio Estrada, you know, it was a competitive fight. It was a good fight. What were your thoughts on it and, and, and how it played out? And I'm... And obviously, uh, that, that kind of the decision. I believe it was a close fight. Um, it was a competitive fight. Um, he did wear down a little bit. I believe that's why he's trying to change uh, the trainers now. Um, but now he says he's going to be in the best condition uh, uh, of his life. So hopefully, he's going to he's going to be that way. And I'm going to train real hard. So there's going to be no excuses, and the best man will win that night. You had a good reception last time you were here in L.A., man. Uh, you feel like you're going to get kind of another good kind of crowd reception again? Well, I, I loved uh, how they treated me last time I was here, so um, I'm very thankful to be here again, and I'm really happy. So um, you guys are going to expect a good fight. You, you are Puerto Rican. I want to I wanna say there's only one title holder right now from Puerto Rico. Uh, well, who's the second one? Tito Acosta and... Machado. Machado, that's the one I was thinking about. Well, why do you feel that, because I feel that it's almost like a, a drought kind of, because normally there's always like, you know, one, two, three, you know, they're kind of easy to name, but well, why do you feel there's kind of been a lull in, in, in Puerto Rican Champions League? I don't know. Um, it, it happens, but Puerto Rico has a lot of great boxers. Um, it, I believe it's it's time, uh, maybe it'll, it, it'll be maybe in six months or one year, we'll, we'll get back at, at the same numbers. What, what was your thoughts on uh, Goto's last fight uh, at the Garden? It was emotional, obviously. Tore his, his bicep kind of halfway through it. What, what were your thoughts on that? And just kind of just maybe speak on the, the career that, that was Miguel Cole. Well, um, it is sad, you know, to leave the sport um, how he was. He lost the belt. But, you know, uh, Miguel Cotto is a legendary Puerto Rican fighter. He has d given a lot to this sport. So I believe it, his name is will be in the Hall of Fame. And I respect him as a fighter. Is there anyone that, that you kind of see coming up, kind of, you know, that, that you feel like is a, is a hot prospect that people need to kind of keep, keep their eye on coming forward? Well, uh, you got to keep an eye on all of them. You know, I can't mention one exactly because it's, it's up to them to keep on winning fights. So, um, uh, but Puerto Rico has a lot of great fighters coming up. Williams, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Thank you.